Last week when the Browns had a um, open practice, Hugh Jackson, coach, said, I beat myself up for not running the ball more last year. Guess what, Hugh? You should. Two numbers, number two and number 32. Number two is the Browns average 4.9 yards per carry, 4.9 yards per rush attempt, second best in the NFL. Number 32 is they ran the ball only 350 times. Three, 32 teams, they rank 32nd in running the ball. I understand when you get behind in the game, you feel like you got to throw. And I, but here's what happens to these coaches: is they think, all right, we're behind, we have to throw. But I don't have really good quarterbacks, so I throw with bad quarterbacks. And what does this do? It creates a bigger deficit. Here comes the sacks, the interceptions, the fumbles. So now, instead of like sort of stabilizing thing, where maybe having your offense on the field for three or four minutes, getting some first downs, let your defense catch their breath, you're running that bad defense back on the field quicker. Now, logic. Let's let logic come into play here. If I have a bad defense, do I want them on the field a lot or a little bit? When the Browns actually had a decent start back in 2014, when Brian Hoyer was a quarterback, when he started 6-3, and three, they were in the top five teams in running the ball. They committed to the run. Now, i got to give Kyle Shanahan credit for that, and they ran it well. Then Alex Mack got hurt and some other things fell apart. And then Johnny Manziel came in. But it showed at that point that they could run the ball and run it well. Isaiah Crowell and Duke Johnson, I think, are both above average NFL running backs. I happen to like Matthew Days, the third, the uh, seventh round pick that they picked up uh, for North Carolina State. You know, he would be the third back. So they've got some stuff they could do there. And guess what? I want to see if they do this. Jabril Peppers, the safety they picked up from Michigan in the first round, he actually is a very good running back. They use them in these different trick plays and so on at Michigan. All right, so Hugh, quit beating yourself up about the run. Help your quarterbacks by running the ball. If you get down 7 nothing or 10 nothing, don't just start throwing passes all over the place, even if the fans start to boo because they want to see passes. I don't care who your quarterback is. Because if you want to go out there with Cody Kessler, you can't have Eric Cody. It's not going to work. If you want to set up Rock Osweiler to fail, have him throw the ball 35 to 45 times a game. That's what's going to do. And certainly if you're playing Deshaun Kaiser, a rookie, the last thing you want to do is put the game in his hands and have him throw the ball over the field. So this is the time for you really to sit down and take a hard look at the plays that you called and see how you could change them and make them better.